There is a lot of discussion happening about AI and what can AI do in the area of human resources. AI per se is what we call as artificial intelligence is per se trying to take certain decisions or trying to recommend certain decisions for the humans. So what can it do in the area of human resources? There are a lot of decisions that uh, HR practitioner takes on a day to day basis. Right from a simple thing like what kind of a salary should I give a person who is joining me from this kind of a background, this kind of a current salary to this kind of a role that they will be performing to who are the appropriate people who should be promoted in the organization to simpler ones who are the people who are eligible for getting promoted or who are the people who are eligible to be shifted to a different department. It can even get to the level of trying to figure out where the AI can help you identify who are the people who are demonstrating abilities, demonstrating skills to be put in the organization's succession planning, to be put or identified and put in some leadership development programs and who are the people who are not able to currently perform the role appropriately as a result what kind of training should be provided to them so they can start delivering. A lot of these decisions which normally you will have a trained HR practitioner take can be taken by the AI enabled systems. To run a system which can help you or support a human in taking these decisions, a lot of backend systems, a lot of foundational processes need to be in place. A generic question will result in a generic answer. A specific contextual question with contextual data of the organization will result in a AI driven contextual and an organization specific answer or an action step. The way organizations are developing today, the way AI is developing today, human resource can really, really leverage on the benefit of AI for the reason being very specific or very simple. AI works on certain assumptions. It works on certain parameters. If as an organization you can set certain parameters, it can ensure that those parameters are followed through, throughout the organization and the result that comes out is a result of those parameters. So in a way, yes, it does reduce bias it does increase speed and it does remove partiality. But in a way, if your parameters that you design are full of bias, then it's going to present bias in a large scale organization wide system. Therefore, AI is a wonderful thing that the human resource organizations need to adapt. But unlike a lot of other systems, like a lot of other things, AI and ethics are something which human resource professionals need to be very, very careful about. Today, one of the biggest challenges that AI in HR is facing is the creeping in of bias and is the creeping in of ethical or unethical practices in terms of processing the decisions that are being taken by AI. So a simple AI implementation in the organization should not be executed unless you've had an opportunity to figure out what kind of ethical and what kind of bias and what kind of a standard systems does your system progress. But as an organization, it is time that you should start looking at how AI can help build in your HR systems, make them stronger and make them achieve goals and targets which you believe that the HR function should be delivering for the business to achieve its goals.